What's an American problem you're too European to understand? Australian here, don't understand why tax isn't automatically added to price tags. That got me so irritated in the US. Why people censor swears that are totally obvious. Also how many shows don't bleep out the full word. Like a lot of time you'll hear F asterisk 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 T and it's not hard to figure out what they're actually saying. Either censor the whole thing or don't censor at all. 21 drinking age like WHAAAAT you can vote. Go join the army. Get married. Have children and drive but you're too immature to drink. In my state it's 21 to buy cigarettes now too. Edit. It's a federal law, not just individual states anymore. Ask your doctor about this drug, ads. Honestly, that one is batshit crazy for us Americans too. Limited sick days. I truly do not understand those. I mean, if you're sick you're, you know, sick. I have tried, but I cannot limit the time I'm sick. I don't think a lot of people can. So why TF limit sick days? Here in the Netherlands we went, in my opinion, a bit overboard. You can be sick for one year. Then your employer has to pay only 70% of your salary. After two years they can fire you. That's a bit long, but I read somewhere about people who have two sick days a year. Which is the other end of ridiculous. Because no one ever believes that you're actually sick here. The default mentality is that employees would call out sick all the time and never work if there was no limit. Paying for an ambulance, seriously, like WTF. When my friend living in the USA got sick, I told her that it would be cheaper just to take a limo to the hospital. I think from memory she had to pay about $5,000 US. Just take the limo. At least you can ride up in style. Popping in to say people don't always have a choice. Which is insane. I have a relative who went to the ER for a major depressive episode and needed to be transferred to a nearby psych program as year her parents were there and wanted to drive. It was five minutes away. Legally, they could not release her to her parents and had to take her in an ambulance. Five minute ambulance ride equals $2,000. Luckily, she was under 26 and her parents had good insurance so most of it was covered. But imagine already wanting to kill yourself and then getting strapped with thousands in bills for trying to get help. God bless the USA. Their toilet stalls are so fucked up it's unbelievable. Huge gaps in the sides you can see people through. Huge gaps at the top and bottom. And they don't have occupied signs that show when the door is locked. I was listening to an American podcast recently where they suggested having a light above the stall to show when it's in use. They don't have a clue lol. Can confirm every public restroom is like this we just figure it out by seeing feet. Some barbarians figure it out by jerking the handle several times grimacing face. Having to remember that cars can turn on a red light. I know this is a thing. I've known this for 10 years. I still forget and nearly die every time I need to cross a road when I'm in the US. ETA. I have learned many things in this comment thread. And am formally changing my answer to traffic laws varying between states. The red light turn thing still terrifies me though. If the light is green for you, that car is supposed to yield. Edit. Chill. People. I never said that you should run across the street without looking out. Everything involving cars assumes that other people will do what they are supposed to do. Won't do what they're not supposed to do. And common sense and safety will assume it can be the exact opposite. My point is the rules about turning on red are as well defined as don't cross the double yellow line. But when you cross a car coming in the opposite direction, you don't stop, do you? Oof. I see you made a post and expected people on Reddit to use context clues. Sorry man. People only like being right around here. The idolization of politicians. They are public servants. Similar to a courthouse clerk or a city hall coordinator. They are not rock stars. You don't need to scream their name. Buy their merch. Fully commit your life to them and believe everything they say. 
just treat them like public servants. Sure, they get power in position, but hold them accountable when they abuse it. Don't let corporations and politicians take over. The political system is created by the people. For the people, it just boggles the mind. I'm American and I'm also baffled and appalled by this lol. Probably not really European but Finnish. Memes about forgetting to connect your phone to Wi-Fi. Here we have unlimited internet and it's working almost everywhere. Edit. Also the unlimited mobile data costs here like 30 euros in month. Interesting. Tell me, what are your immigration laws like? I want in. Edit. I'm not American, by the way. My country, however, has been through a tough divorce and I'm disillusioned with dad and his lies. I wanna go live with mom, even though I've never visited before. But she seems to have better Wi-Fi right now. I hope that clears it up. While I'm on the topic of Wi-Fi, fuck you Eduro a monsieur, American who's lived in Helsinki here. If you can deal with 6 months of days that go dark around 3 p.m. Slower pace of life, introverted people, and not so good food. Then definitely the incredibly cheap and stable internet. Comprehensive health care, and quality of life is worth it. I don't have to talk to people. I'm in. Never ever if you don't want to. Ain't nobody going to bother you. Or if they are, that's probably a foreigner. American here. When I was studying in the UK I had to send some financial documents back to the US. The only way these documents were considered valid was if the original was mailed in. Or if I faxed a copy. When I asked the printing office if they could fax it for me they looked at me like I was an alien. And said the school hadn't owned a fax machines for like a decade. Then they asked me if I still use a VCR. Americans still use fax machines. Especially for health stuff. Just had to fax a claim this morning. Having to do your tax return. I mean, the IRS know how much you earn. So why can't they just take it out? Damn, I swear they want you to fuck up so they can put you in jail, fine you. We do it in Europe too. At least in Germany and Croatia. That is if by tax bill you mean tax return. In the UK you also do it. But only if you are self-employed. Yes, tax return. If you work for an employer the tax gets taken out of your monthly, weekly wage. But self-employed you must do it yourself. How much do I tip? 10%? 15%? Do I tip everywhere? Why isn't the tax included? Why does the tip vary? Why are the waiters so underpaid? Edit. Also why do you have to do your tax bill? You could literally go to prison but it's like a guessing game from what I heard. If it's a waiter, waitress. A service 20%. B service 15%. Most common. C service 10%. Dear below complain. This started off with just wealthy people giving waiters tips so they would favor the monsieur then. Everyone started giving tips. Then the restaurants figured out they could subsidize their income with tips so it became standard. Unless you're very obviously lying. And lying by a lot. You won't go to jail. If you're lying by a little. They'll fine you. If it's an honest mistake they'll just correct it. It's because tax bills vary so much from person to person. In my job, I can deduct one third road of my rent as a home office. If I put a sticker with my business name on my car, I can deduct that as well. If I fly to visit my family I can't deduct anything. But if I fly to visit a client I can. Other people can deduct mortgage interest, education expenses, and more. Two people who make the same gross income very rarely have the same tax rate. One person can be paying a 20% tax rate and the other can be paying 0%. Living paycheck to paycheck despite making like 4 grand a month. When I lived in Seattle I had a $2,300 mortgage. But daycare for two kids. Just to take care of them while we were at work. Ran $4,400 a month. We didn't live paycheck to paycheck but I guess I can see how it's possible. 4. 4k a month for two kids daycare? How is that? I can't even. Well, 
I so get why Americans are going child-free now. It's simply unaffordable. Yes, raising a kid to age 18 costs around $300,000 in the US on average. Fuck that, 30 degrees Fahrenheit. An easy way to think about Fahrenheit is in percentage of hot. 30% hot is not hot at all. 50 is somewhere in the middle, not hot, but not really cold either. 70 is getting kinda hot. 90 is pretty fucking hot. Edit. I'm loving the conversation points here. But I have to point out that I stole this idea from a Tumblr post I ran across something like 8 years ago. So, have fun. 117% makes you question why people decided that Phoenix, Arizona was a habitable place. Edit. 117 degrees Fahrenheit equals 47.3 degrees Celsius. Edit 2. The one thing that unites everyone globally is that we all hate our local weather. But it's dry heat. 1c. Not European but a German girl asked me if I lost my job how long they would keep paying me until I got a new job and I just started laughing. Edit. Jesus Christ. People. I mean asterisk I'm asterisk not European. Which means that I am not asterisk exactly asterisk who the prompt is aimed at. I know Germany is in Europe FFS. You fucking detectives. Second edit. Everyone says unemployment and I looked into how much I can get for that and I started laughing. Again. While watching Chelsea vs Manchester United yesterday on NBCSN. During halftime there was a good RX commercial where the guy is asking a woman if she would like to fill her prescription. He pulled up the phone and showed her that the same pill can cost from $10 to $90 depending on the area, and that good RX can help her fill the prescription with the cheapest prices. Now someone please explain to me how in the ever loving fuck is it possible for a drug to cost 10x? more depending on your location. Don't they have constant prices like in the rest of the civilized world? Edit. The answers to my inquiry are even more fucked up. What the fuck America? You're getting robbed in broad daylight. No. Prescription costs depend on what your insurance considers a fair price for it. How much they are willing to cover at that cost. Only after you've met your deductible. How many doses they think you actually need and therefore the pharmacy must oblige when filling it. And likely your home state. I cannot recount how many instances I've heard of families going bankrupt because their child is insulin dependent and they simply cannot afford it in their house at the same time. It's fucked up. Are you saying that the insurance company decides how much you'll need? Rather than an impartial doctor. Indeed, I'm in the middle of a mess right now over this exact thing. My neurologist says I need three a day. Insurance disagrees. I'm sure it has nothing to do with how expensive the drug is. They must have a team of neurologists going over my records and finding a better treatment plan. S. I'm too European to understand how swearing and curse words are such a big deal in movies and songs. But violence and guns are taken with a grain of salt. As an American one don't get it. As far as I'm concerned little Jimmy on the mic has fucked my mom five times in the past two hours but his mom won't let him listen to rap music. Australian here. The TV ads for prescription medication always gets me. Like really specific medication too. Not just a new over-the-counter painkiller. I think it's good to research medication if you have a condition to be informed about your options. But it's so bizarre to see ads for it in between Property Brothers episodes and ads for Taco Bell. Mesa use irreversible liver damage and psychotic breaks from reality. Nipples or in general the hypersexualization of nudity. American here. My girlfriend and I were just talking about this. Someone posted an innocent baby photo on Facebook and they censored out the nipples. We were like, it wasn't weird or sexual. But now you've gone and made it weird. In my last job I was told I had to wear a t-shirt underneath my polo shirt because my nipples were showing through the polo shirt. I'm a guy. There was a controversial issue in a TV show. Manhunter. 
that the naked, bloody corpse of a guy was showing his butt crack, and that varanted a higher PG rating. The solution was more blood to cover the crack, and then it's all good. Hannibal, that's the example I always use. More blood to cover the nudity to make it decent. Strung up in some winged angel position, but wings being his rib cage. Brutal scene, but no nudity. Thank you for watching.